What do you do to keep the crowd where you want them? What can you do to deliver a performance and your services most effectively? Let's start with what you need to organize for your own efficiency and comfort. Be sure you have a watch. You need to know when your job is over. A map. You need to know where it is. And your cell phone and the cell number of your contact, which can help you find the individual you need to connect with in the middle of a crowd. And you may want to bring some drinking water for yourself. One of the hardest things I had to do as a scout leader was convince the boys how important it is to keep hydrated. Outdoors on a hot day, dehydration sneaks up on you, and you can suddenly feel very weak and dizzy if you haven't kept up adequate water intake. As soon as you get there, scope out where you would like to be located. The factors you outlined in the contract are a good start in terms of where the best location is. Outdoors, the overriding concern is good shade and good clean level ground. After that, you need to think about being away from most of the noise, being close but not too close to the other kitty attractions, and ideally having something at your back. As your career goes on, you'll learn about the layout and conditions you can expect at many of the most popular picnic venues in your area. But at the outset, you may find the actual conditions to be very different from the ones described to you in the planning process. You're bound to have some surprises. Other parties immediately adjacent. You don't want to get stuck entertaining two parties for one paycheck. Or perhaps the only shade is right next to the DJ's biggest speaker. Or any of a variety of things you need to think about when locating your operation. Those first few moments before somebody starts telling you what to do are the most important to gaining the conditions appropriate to doing a good job. Scan the area quickly, decide where you want to be, then put on your very best happy, cooperative face Find the one person you're told will coordinate things, your boss for the day, get in the first word, while appearing to be, again, very cooperative. It looks like over there would be a really good place to set up, where the kids and I can make some noise away from the grown-ups. Would that work out for you? You almost never get any opposition. I usually get what I need, and if I don't, I just have to mark it up to experience, to extraordinary customer service, and live with it. Then, as your contract and planning specified, try to get the check first. And though I've never failed to get the check sooner or later, it becomes a problem if you become tired or have somewhere else to be soon, and the guy with the check has gone off to buy more soda and ice. So be persistent. Don't even begin work without the check. You can always put it off to, it's not really my idea, my boss insists. If he comes to inspect the job here and I don't have it, I'll get in trouble. Of course, you don't have a boss and he's certainly not going to show up to check on you, but you can invent one for your convenience. After you achieve a good setup, the secret to having an easier time for yourself, as well as keeping the crowd happy, is managing the crowd. People are having fun. And they're usually pretty nice, but waiting in line is frustrating, and they want to know that you're keeping that in mind. So, be clear about what you're doing. Learn to speak to individuals at one moment, to the assembled crowd the next. That guy's in line now, or there's no balloons or faces. Now remain in line, please. Thank you very much. You know what, I'm not trying to be like school and making you line up, but people get very mad if they see people wandering on over and go, I was in line before them, and then they get all upset with me, okay? And you're scooting out of line again, that way. Okay. Tell them when the magic show will start. Tell them what you're able to offer so they don't wait half an hour waiting for something they're not going to get. Tell them what the rules are, and when you're done with that, tell them again. Now again, if you did not hear before, I can do a balloon or a face. You decide what you'd like, okay? And you said a rabbit, didn't you? You have any rabbits at home? Olivia? I have a rabbit! 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 I have a rab
Oh no, is he getting better? I know, I know. That's about the kids love to see what you're doing. Yeah, we're going to look over. Guys, if you take the line way over that way, you can look around that side. Come on this side. You can look. Oh. And there goes the fire truck. Did everybody get to see them? Yeah. Were they nice guys? Yeah. Oh, yes, they're very brave. Yay! Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah. If, if, if that can be managed. What makes me think you used to be a teacher or still are? Thank you. Oh, good. Let me turn over this way. All right, then everybody can see. Very good. And I make a rabbit nose, rabbit ears. You want to see? Like that. Everybody wave goodbye to him again. Wave goodbye. And a rabbit neck and rabbit front feet and a rabbit tummy and rabbit back feet and a rabbit tail and we'll go hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop to you. There you go. Hey. That's it. Hey, guys, if you don't bother him, he won't bother you. What would you like, a face or a balloon? Can you just give me a face balloon? Yes, blown up. Okay. Uh, do you have one? Okay, I will gladly do that. Water. Might be the color. Well, it's so kind of you to say. Yes. Uh, I don't do tiger balloons, I do tiger faces, so why don't, you know what, if you take a plain balloon, you can get real creative with it, and maybe next year they'll hire you instead of me. How about that? All right. Yeah, you can, oh, wait a minute, now let's try that again. Liam, you need to be in the line or out of the line. Oh no, the line is way back there behind Alex. Yeah, lines all the way back here. Okay. Here you go, Katie. That's for you. Liam, you're behind Alex, okay? And here is, what is your name, young lady? No, no, you're big. And what's your name? She doesn't know what her name is, okay? Carmen, well, come right over here, Carmen. Do you want a balloon or a face? Uh, what kind of balloon? All uh, right, let's see if there's pink in here. I can do a dog balloon. How about that? Right here. You might want to make the occasional announcement that it'll be a long time before you get to most people, and some of them might want to go play for a while and come back when the line dies down. Believe it or not, there are plenty of people who will take that opportunity. They don't want to wait that long. Then I can view the line as a more or less 180 degree thing. I really don't like people behind me. And the next people in line are the four or five people lined up around the table. And I can say again and again, I'll say you and you and then you. And then the people behind them move up as you, you go on and you just move the you, you and you down the line. It's every bit as fair as a regimented line. And if a grown-up comes by and asks where the line starts, I just say, well, it starts right there and there and there.